What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, today's video is pretty much going to talk about the same things we mentioned yesterday. So for those that are new or haven't watched yesterday's video, this is one for you. Now, specifically, what we've been tracking within most of the major cryptocurrencies was the formation of some sort of double bottom pattern on pretty much all the major cryptos. You can see looking at XRP, for example, that there is the first and second second half of this uh, double bottom and we're currently battling the neckline which is acting as quite a strong resistance to say the least you can see just yesterday we had quite a, uh, a big difficulty trying to break through this and it pretty much carries to these other cryptos same thing applies itself with ethereum as for yesterday getting rejected once again trying to break through its neckline here you can see a clear double bottom formation having issues breaking through the neckline so that's really what we're waiting for the next couple of days is a break above neckline which would then cause prices to pretty much rise to the upside very clearly shown here and the same thing applies with bitcoin here also having issues with its neckline you can see just yesterday we pretty much retested that now having problems you can see right here just immediately retested that you can see on the neckline here we're trying to break through, had trouble, and fell down today. So what we're looking for is a break above this, as well as above this resistance here, which would be ideal to carry the prices up to thirty to thirty-one thousand dollars. That's the ideal goal that we're looking for. Currently, we're kind of falling stagnant, uh, trading sideways, which will probably be the rest of the weekend, uh, because it seems like crypto seems to fall stagnant on weekends, very similar to the S and P five hundred. So we're going to be looking at all this stuff later on today. With that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. So guys, as you can tell, top 10 cryptocurrencies, everything is pretty much consolidating today. Once again, still below $1 trillion, but we are above nine, $900 billion, which is definitely a good sign. You can see top 10 cryptocurrencies. Now we're going to ignore the hourly charts, but looking at the 24 and 7 day, Bitcoin's up 12, Ethereum's up 15 over the past week, BNB's up 12, Solana's up 16 percent like a lot of these cryptocurrencies are definitely starting to see some sort of uh gain in performance over the past couple of days because we've pretty much locked in a pretty solid support on the cryptos now in the past couple of days we've managed to or let's say weeks We've managed to become extremely oversold, forming a new price floor for most of these cryptos. You can see for XRP, that price floor is at 30 cents, where we became extremely oversold on the daily, as well as on weekly charts too. You can see the weekly here. We are still currently oversold, much more oversold than before, but you can see where we're having issues right here, balancing out and retesting the support. But this has also been a support for XRP specifically for a very long time. You can see here the amount of um, you know supportive levels as a price floor, prices bouncing off consistently on this, and then acting as a resistance as well, where prices have had a very troublesome time trying to break through it so the fact that we're retesting it today is definitely a good sign and hopefully we'll stay above this and start to float higher but it goes much farther than just xrp here so we are retesting this support we do know that clear as day here what we're clearly looking for waiting to buy in is obviously a confirmation above the neckline here which would be for xrp 38 to 39 cents so as a conservative trader specifically me i don't plan on buying in until this price floor is broken and then we should be able to see a pretty substantial rally back up to its moving average which is closer to 50 cents which is quite exciting now obviously other cryptos seem to show this a little bit better uh, i mean bitcoin and ethereum specifically but the reason we're not moving today is because we seem to be uh, almost neck and neck within the s p the s p the s p is closed on the weekends so we're not going to see any of that move Movement until then until we break this you can also see not eh, i guess a neckline to say the least too but it, we mainly had this big drop consolidation and again you could see the same thing as with bitcoin big drop consolidation this is more even on the cryptos than this this was a little bit higher but the same thing to say the least so you can see with ethereum we also had a major drop here and formed a double bottom formation finding support at a thousand dollars here problem is we're retesting necklines so until prices break through neckline we're not going to buy in and leverage to the upside because there's still a chance we could fall flat and correct lower so what we're really looking for is confirmation above you know twelve hundred dollars maybe we close at thirteen hundred dollars we can close a daily above thirteen hundred there's a very big chance we will rally up to moving averages which is closer to two thousand dollars 
dollars. We've seen a lot of liquidations, lots of prices falling. So it only it only makes sense that we start to see prices potentially swing back up in the near future if we can confirm breaking necklines. That's what we're dealing with here. Same thing goes with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has a beautiful uh, fall. Or sorry, uh, what is this? Double bottom forming right here. You can clearly see problem with the neckline. Tons of resistance the past couple of days here. So we need to confirm breaking above neckline for us to start to see a swing back to the upside here. So keep your eyes peeled because once we can confirm breaking above neckline here, then we can confirm seeing a rally back up, which would be uh, probably closer to $30,000, which is quite exciting. It's a big trade and it will see a lot of volume very quickly, but we're not going to see any of that yet until confirmation above neckline is confirmed. Once that's confirmed, then it's you know all, all eyes on into buying in. So this week, we'll definitely see that movement come very, very, very soon, which I'm excited for. I'm pretty sure July 13th is confirmation of CPI inflation data for June, which would confirm quite a few things. I'm not sure when GDP comes out from like the Business Statistics Bureau or something like that. Um, and that will tell us if we've been in two uh, negative quarters. And if the last quarter, second quarter for the U.S. was uh, negative, which it probably is, as the Atlantic Feds have said uh, that it is. So we're probably going to, or they averaged that, they thought that that is. So we're probably going to see a negative GDP for the second quarter, which could confirm that we've already been in a recession. And typically markets tend to move up when we're already in a recession, which is a good sign. But also with inflation coming out lower than um, where we currently have been. That's also a good sign. So we're looking for anything below like 8.6. We close at 8.3 on inflation. We're good. We're doing good. If we're at the same level or above, we're not doing too good. But with gas prices coming down and things like that, it's a good sign that, hey, maybe we'll start to finally see, hey, maybe we peaked in this nonsense and we'll start to uh, you know, see the markets come back up, S&P come back up and things start to trend back downwards like inflation. So good things to come. If we can confirm those two things next week, we might see the S&P break up through this heading to 41 or $4,200 and everything else will just kind of you know, stagnate out or sorry, we'll see Bitcoin and these other cryptos start to break through their double bottom and see a pretty substantial run back up to moving averages. So I'm excited and I think it's going to come very soon. Next week is quite an important week for us. So we just kind of have to stay focused, keep your eyes peeled on the markets, get ready with um, BitYard. Obviously, BitYard is my favorite cryptocurrency leveraging website here, which I've linked down in the description. When you do sign up for this website, make sure to click on mystery box with the link, like I said, and you'll be able to earn some free crypto for signing up. Not only that, they offer tons of altcoins and cryptocurrency to trade around with, which is super cool. Uh, specifically, XRP right here. And the awesome thing about this is you can set the amount of leverage that you want up to five or as up to 5x or at least 5x and then you can type in whether you want to you know trigger or market i like market orders i put in the amount of margin the amount of leverage click buy long or sell short and you're good to go what's even cooler is they offer a demo account which allows you to trade around with uh, cryptocurrencies uh at like monopoly money which is awesome too so you can really test your skills and not actually risk losing anything which is awesome but um that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video guys i don't really have much more to say about these cryptos besides watching their uh uh, double bottom forming and if we could break through that neckline we'll see a pretty substantial run but with that being said definitely make sure to smash the like button turn on post notifications subscribe and i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace